Hey everyone, it's Irene, the cosplay counselor, your virtual superhero advisor. Now, it's been quite some time since I graduated college and it's taken me quite a bit of time to pay off my student loans. However, I can successfully say that I am all done and I am debt free. I've learned quite a bit about myself and about the process and looking back, I think there would there's a couple of things that I would have done differently had I known then what I know now. So I wanted to share these things with you so that you don't make those same mistakes. But if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Are you ready? Let's go. Number one, apply for jobs at the college. So this is a really great opportunity for students to A, not only earn money, but because your supervisors know that you're a student at the college, they're usually much more flexible with your schedule. So when I was going to college, I was very close-minded and did not want to do a job that was not directly related to the career pathway that I wanted to pursue. And as a result, I really missed out on some great opportunities to learn some office skills and just have some work experience under my belt and be able to pay off my student loans at that time when it wasn't incurring interest and be able to go towards the principal. So if you're in college, I would definitely do a job at that time so you can start paying it off right away. Number two, not rely on the school name. I grew up in a culture that believes that if you go to a good college, you'll get a good job. And while my particular career pathway does require this level of education to pursue this profession, relying solely on the education and the degree component by itself was really my downfall. Now, had I paired my education with some type of work experience beyond the internship and beyond the practicum, even if that experience is in a different role, if you have something under your belt and pair that with your college education, you would be a much stronger candidate. So I Number three, applying broadly. So when I graduated, I naively believed that I was able to get a full-time counseling job because of my pedigree and internship experiences and the glowing letters of recommendations that I gotten from my supervisors. I thought that that would have been sufficient evidence to show the employers that I would have been a good employee. I was in for a very rude awakening after I graduated college and I had no job offers because I didn't have any work experience beyond my internship and practicum. I wish I would have considered applying to part-time jobs or other jobs within the school in different roles just so I can get to know the administration and the other staff members and so when a position did open up, I would already have some internal connections to help plug me in to some of those opportunities. Getting a job is partially what you know, but it's more important on who you know. So building your network of advocates to support you and your goals is really instrumental. So those are three things that I would do differently had I known then what I know now. Are there things that you regret or would do differently based on what you know now? Comment below. I think that sharing is caring. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would love it if you would share it. For more information, please check out my website, cosplaycounselor.com, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!